Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you, including cookies. Who doesn't love cookies and especially holiday cookies? So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload a meal prep every Monday and I do upload five videos every single week. I will link my recipe website down in the description box. That is where you will find all of today's recipes. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend to help you reach your weight loss goals in the new year. I just started group coaching. There's a post here on my community tab. Check it out if you're interested. And I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links and discount to my favorite things as well as my Facebook group. Come join us, we'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm making egg white bites. I'm so excited for these. These are going to be a super delicious high protein breakfast. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need some roasted red peppers, fresh spinach, egg whites, salt and pepper. I am using my little dash egg maker. This is an actual egg bite maker. I got this off of Amazon. Love it, absolutely love it. I will link it down below. It makes the easiest egg bites. And then you're going to need whole eggs cottage cheese, light shredded cheese, fat-free or regular feta, and some green onion. So the first thing we're going to do is add one cup of egg whites to a blender cup, half of a cup of cottage cheese, and four eggs. And then we're going to blend this up. Now the recipe says you can skip this step, but they recommend it because it makes the egg bites really creamy. So I am 100% going to blend this up. And then we're going to pour that mixture into a mixing bowl. To the egg mixture, we're going to add in our chopped up roasted red peppers. I diced up two of the green onions, one third cup light shredded cheese, and then one third cup fat-free feta, about a third of a cup of torn spinach, salt and pepper, and the recipe says you can put in a dash of hot sauce. I'm going to skip that part. I don't really like spice, so I'm going to skip the hot sauce, but you can add that in. I'm going to take a fork and mix this all together. I have my dash egg bite maker warming up. I'm going to spray my little egg cup molds with some nonstick cooking spray, and then using a cookie scoop, we're going to scoop our mixture right into the egg molds, and make sure you're kind of stirring as you go because the feta, the roasted bell peppers, and the onions will settle at the bottom. And then close it up, and when the light turns off, they're ready. All right, the egg bites are done. Look how amazing those look. I'm just going to pop them out and put them here on a cutting board and we'll get the rest of them cooking. And here are the completed egg white bites. These look amazing. I ended up getting 16 out of the recipe, so I'm going to package these up in a storage container. I'll have one or two of these every day, maybe with some fruits and avocado toast. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For lunch this week, I'm making Big Mac Smash Burger Tacos. I have heard that these are amazing, so we're gonna make them and try them out for ourselves. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you'll need a pound of ground beef, 93 or 96. Pickle chips of your choice. I'm using these no sugar added bread and butter. I love sweet pickles, and these no sugar added ones are really good. You'll need an onion, salt and pepper, ketchup, light mayonnaise. This is just regular sugar. We're literally using half of a teaspoon. I'll be using these zero carb little mini tortillas. I absolutely love these. And then the Sargento ultra thin provolone cheese. The recipe calls for lettuce. I'm going to use up the rest of my spinach. I'm just going to shred it, slice it up kind of like shredded spinach. And then for seasoning, you'll need garlic powder, paprika and onion powder, vinegar and some mustard. So I laid out 12 of my little mini tortillas on a cutting board and I'm going to take my pound of ground beef, roll this into 12 equal sized balls. We'll put one ball of meat on each tortilla. Oh, it's time for Christmas. Oh, it's time. So 
So I have a skillet warming up over medium heat and I have my little tortillas with the burger. I did put it nice and flat, as thin as possible on the tortilla, some salt and pepper. And what we're going to do is flip these over meat side down in the pan and we're going to allow them to cook until the burger is cooked completely through. So I'm going to do four at a time and I have, I believe 12 total. Once your burgers are cooked, we're going to flip it over, tortilla side down. I did kind of take the back of my spatula and smash these down like this as they were cooking. We want basically a smashed burger effect. And then you're going to take your slice of thin cheese and just place it on top. Allow it to melt just a little bit and then we'll remove the first four burgers from the pan. And then we're just going to remove those and put them on a plate and then repeat until all of our smashed burger tacos are done. So we're going to make the sauce for the Big Mac smash tacos. So I'm going to make mine in a mason jar so I can pop a lid on it and shake it up. So the first thing I'm going to add is one quarter cup of light mayo, three tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of sweet relish, about a teaspoon of yellow mustard, a splash of vinegar, about a half of a teaspoon, pinch of sugar, again, half of a teaspoon, and then our seasonings, garlic powder, paprika, and onion powder. I'm just going to put the lid on my mason jar and give it a good shake until fully mixed. You could also use a handheld frother or spoon, whatever you wanna do, but literally just shaking it up works really well. And here's our sauce, and again, I'll just shake it up before using. Look at how good these look. Oh my gosh, these look amazing. I am going to assemble one here. I'm gonna have it for lunch today so I can show you what the finished smashed taco looks like. So we're going to take one of our tortillas, place it on a plate. We're going to sprinkle on a little bit of diced up onion, a little chopped lettuce, pickles, and then drizzle on the sauce. You can add any of your other favorite toppings, but this looks absolutely incredible. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making gingerbread cookies. I'm so excited about these. These are going to be soft, chewy, delicious cookies. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need light butter, flour. I'm going to use my fiber gourmet flour. This one has way less calories and points, 55% less than normal flour, and it has fiber and protein. So only 50 calories for a quarter cup, and that's going to give you 17 grams of fiber and five grams of protein. Yes, please, and it works just like regular flour. I literally love it. I just ordered a couple more more bags from Nutrition. I buy this on Nutrition. I do have 10% off for the website. I'll link it down below for you. And then in here I have, as always, my Lakanto granulated sugar substitute. I also have a 15% off discount site-wide for Lakanto. Both of those discounts will be in the description box. Dry ginger, cinnamon, salt, of course molasses, baking soda, and an egg. So the first thing we're going to do for our cookies is we're going to put in three quarters of a cup of butter and then one cup of Lakanto granulated and then with a handheld mixer, mix until creamy. And we're going to add in one quarter cup of molasses and one egg and then we're going to mix that again with our mixer until combined. Then we're adding in two and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, cinnamon and ginger. Now, if you want a stronger ginger taste, just add in more ginger. I definitely want to feel, to taste the ginger. So the recipe actually calls for half of a teaspoon. I'm going to do about a full teaspoon. So 
here is our cookie mix. It smells amazing. I have a cookie sheet and then some granulated Lakanto. What we're going to do is shoot for about 24 cookies. So I'm going to get my ball of dough and then we're going to roll that in the Lakanto granulated. Put that on the cookie sheet and then just kind of press it into place so that it's flattened out a little bit and repeat. 365 chances of the year To try to make it right You have to see it clear We all need a helping hand To put our things aside so my cookies are going into a 350 degree oven for about 10 or 12 minutes. I did sprinkle a little extra sugar right on top. I may actually get more than 24 cookies. We shall see. So I did, I did end up getting 24 cookies total. Actually perfect amount to make 24 cookies. Look at these cookies. These look like bakery gingerbread cookies. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for these. They smell incredible. I'm going to allow these to cool. I put the other pan in the oven. When it comes out, I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here are the finished cookies. We tried these, they're really good. Really, really good. Definitely that gingerbread vibe, but they're soft. They're a little crispy on top with the sugar and the edges and then super soft on the inside. So I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. Everything is amazing. I'm so excited for these this upcoming week. Again, they are all on my recipe website, which is linked in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Have an amazing week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.